it's going to be a drop off or disconnect of how I focus this week. Where are you at right now, Richard? I know you, you, you were pretty self deprecating to us about the, the rat trap, Richard nickname. Are you still getting coached that tightly by Kirby? Are there still mistakes every week? Or uh, yeah, man, I, I think, you know, whenever you come to practice and, you know, you always, uh, every week you got a new game plan or you're facing a new type of a guy, it's going to be mistakes that's being made. And, uh, you know, as long as it's not happening on Saturday, you know, I'm good with whatever I'm being called or, or anything like that. As long as I get the job done on Saturday and help the team, it, it's, it's okay with me. How have you guys bonded? I mean, that, those two weeks or those three weeks, I mean, this season's right. going to come down to that, that doubt, I guess. There was a lot of doubt on the outside, but on the inside, you galvanized. What, what were some of the things? Was there a lot of guys picking each other up? And oh, yeah. It, pretty vocal guy. Yeah, you definitely. Know? The message was never, you know, it's always the guys – Everybody in this organization that we're around had no doubt in our mind about how we perform. You know, we fell off for, uh, you know, one week and we came back and we, we just going to play ball from here. We can we control our own destiny. So, however, we, you know, come out there with a self-motivated team. We don't need, you know, a lot of outside factors or a lot of motivational things like that because guys on this team, they know what we're here for. Richard, when you watch, when you watch a 7 o'clock game, how much, how much TV do you watch throughout the course of the day when a 7 o'clock game? Now, I don't too much, you know, really look at TV during that time. I just, you know, sit and, like, just chill, you know, have more conversation with my teammates and just enjoy their company. I definitely look at the scores, you know, uh, after games are over and things like that, but I ain't too much in tune with them. Yeah, I know you're focused on Missouri, obviously, Saturday, but do you right. think you might peek at the Bama-LSU game, given that that's a one versus two? I mean, you know, just, I mean, I would. Mm -hmm. You know, I look at the scores, something like that. I ain't too much focused on that game, though. You no guys usually take all these games the same, right? What's that, sir? You guys usually take all the opponents the same. Right. right? Do you do backflips after every win, though? I mean, no, I just, you know, <laughs> it was just electric. The way I, I set you up for that. Yeah, I, when, I just When might we good. see another one? You got to clinch the East? Or, I, mean, is it I mean, it's just depending on how I feel. You know, how I, I was just excited. I felt all the energy in there, so that's how it happened. This no rushing touchdown stat, how does that happen? Uh, you know, just being able to emphasize, you know, stopping any type of scoring on us or anything like that, uh, that's how that happens. You know, we're not just saying we're going to stop the run or do anything like that. We're trying to be a complete defense that stops any type of way of scoring or any type of yardage. And so that happened. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm glad. Uh, you know, just being able to, you know, rely on my teaching. Rely on my, uh, my technique from the coaches and, and just know that I, you know, was fourth down and can't give up too much yards. And being able to stop them, that was a, you know, a big turn in the game. Uh, yeah. Yes. Do you prefer that over the zone? I mean, whatever call, I'm good with it. You know, I ain't too much, you know, picky about that. <laughs> Did you ever expect to be 3-0 and versus Florida in your career? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, any game I go out there, I try to win. You know, I'm ready to win it, so... Being 3-0 and against Florida is not a surprise. When you talk about trying to create more turnovers, do you kind of have to balance that with this week going against a guy like Bryant, knowing he can maybe try to victimize you guys with, you know, double moves, looking safeties off, that kind I of mean, thing? I mean, yeah. I mean, you can say that. But, you know, we're going to attack, attack this team like how we attack every other team, you know, not too much sitting back. And, you know, every every week is a challenge because guys in this, this conference that we play in, these guys are special and these guys all are talented. So we have to, you know, prepare Royal and uh, get ready to play ball Saturday. Is it easier to get up or get mentally prepared and ready to go for a 7 o'clock kickoff or the same kickoff? I mean, I don't too much, you know, care about the time. You know, it's just whenever I step out there on the field, I'm ready to play. You know, so it's just no matter what time it is, it's, it's, it's going to be exciting for me. I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be up. Richard, if you've had a chance to see the tape so far, how do you judge Malik Herring's backflip? Uh, Malik, he's real athletic. He, he's been doing that for a long time, too. Since I know him in high school, he could flip. You know, he's about, what, 260, 270. I know he's going to, you know. You think yours is better? You have not. I, who has the better one? I mean, obviously because I'm lighter than him. <laughs> but uh, it's pretty impressive for being a, a D lineman than a DB. You know what I'm saying? Doing that. You may have talked about it in the past. But what is your story on your backflip? How did you learn that? Did you do sort of gymnastics or did you just – Mess oh, around as a kid and learn how to do it. Oh yeah, I was just messing around in the backyard and learn that. It took it took a couple falls for me to learn. You know, some people might would have stopped, but you know, I I trust myself. You got to be able to trust yourself doing things like that. Which one do you like better, your Rose Bowl flip or your flip this last week? Uh, I mean, I guess the Rose Bowl flip because uh, of the win. Uh, how big that win was, I was excited. Any advice from a league on how to get better at it then? You got to get lighter.
<laughs> now, and when you first started, when you as a freshman and you're out there, there's some big names, you know, guys in the NFL. Whereas this defense doesn't have, I'm not saying it doesn't have the big names, but everyone knew Roquan, everyone knew Lorenzo Carter, Davin Bellamy. But these guys, you're getting everything done, but it doesn't seem to have the, it's more of a, it seems like a group effort. Is, is that fair to say? I mean, you know, those guys definitely were, you know, great players and they had group efforts then. This, this seemed like it's just like we just, I don't know how to explain it. Like, we come together, we play ball, man. We, if the accolades come, the accolades come. I don't think nobody to really focus on that. I don't think nobody was ever focused on, you know, no matter what year it was. But I just think, you know, the we come to we come to play every Saturday. So, doesn't awesome. feel any different? Nah, no, I don't feel different at all. You and uh, uh, Monty and, and Mark Webb I mean, really piled up the tackles Saturday. How, you know, obviously that's a way to find is, is safeties. And how much is it? You think this D line is underrated a little bit? The D line, what you're seeing, you probably have a better perspective than anybody. What I mean, Nick and, and Jordan, and those guys are getting done. Oh yeah, them boys, them guys get it done. I don't think they're underrated. You know, uh, I love them. You know, being able to keep those big guys off me. You know, when they they're able to make plays and things like that. So this D line, especially, you know, they, them guys quick, fast, and they make plays. And uh, the way they got after the ball Saturday, that was a, a real big way. What's gonna be another night game? What's your favorite part about seeing the lights, the red lights? I mean, you know, just being in an electric stadium, you know, being able to, I, I just really like it for the fans. You know, these, these guys come out here and take their Saturdays up, you know, and cheer for us. And I, I think they get a, a real good show, you know, to come watch some football, watch some lights and, you know, uh, feel the excitement inside the uh, stadium. What are your thoughts on facing this quarterback? He's pretty talented. You've seen him before. You know what he can do. Right. Uh, he's definitely a great quarterback, man. We have to, uh, you know, definitely stay in coverage and, and be alert. Because this guy can throw the ball, he can run the ball. So, he, you know, definitely a great quarterback. I'm looking forward to playing him. Do you, do you, do you mind going up against the uh, running quarterbacks, or would you prefer he just be a pocket passer? I mean, you know, however we can get it done, you know, whoever we put, whoever they put out there that they think good enough to play, we, you know, I don't too much have a preference. Could have said that you know, it's kind of defense driven towards interceptions. That you guys play matchup more, the picks come you know, in zone defense. Right. What's your biggest role defensively when you're out there? Man, to be able to help my guys get lined up and, and you know, play sound football and, and make sure I run whatever, you know, whatever the play call, I don't too much. Focus on interception and things like that. Whatever we could do to get the complete job done on that back end, that's what I'm there for. Thanks, Richard. Thank you.